There are certain times of year here in Las Vegas where the weather is just so beautiful and perfect. It's still, there's no wind, there's the sound of cars, but it's like, a best, uh, the best way to describe it would probably be room temperature. It is room temperature outside, it's like 72 or, it's in the 70s, but it's beautiful outside, there's no wind. You'll notice how quiet it is, except for the sound of my car running. There's no, because there's no humidity, we don't really have mosquitoes and bugs. There's no cicadas like there are in Texas. So you don't hear the rattling sound of bugs and, and crickets and things. Because of that, there's not a lot of birds to eat them. So you don't hear the birds either. And so, that's my, my camera talking to me. So it's nice, like tonight, that the XLR convertible is perfect. <laughs> Yeah, baby, I'm gonna take the XLR for a spin. Pop in here, this thing is awesome. Oof. Yeah. This is where this thing is so fun. Now this is one of the coolest convertibles ever, but it is slow. See, first the trunk opens, then the other little flap opens, then the top goes up, and then the side windows fold in like origami, and then it all goes in below. And then that thing, that thing pops out, and then the trunk goes back down. That little flap goes down, and then the trunk goes down. It's, it's like a ballet, but once it's all done, like it's a complete and total roadster that just like, you know, it's just, it's crazy how awesome it is. It's a Corvette, kind of. Thing is great on a night like this. Put on my seatbelt. The sun comes out. I love this thing. Look at this. Welcome to Las Vegas. Thank you. We are leaving Las Vegas. I stopped at a stoplight and there's always homeless people and all kinds of stuff, but but sometimes there's Chef, Chef Joey jumped <laughs> in the car. What's up? I, I just, just jumped right in, just man. Jumped in. I was like, look at this. Look at this guy. He just jumped in my car. It happens, man. It's Vegas, baby. This is Chef Joey. He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna whip me up a hot dog and some nachos or something. That's what are we right. eating? What's for dinner? I don't know. You tell me, man. Actually, I had a I had a, a fruit roll up before I left the That's house. So awesome. I'm awesome. Kind of stuffed. I, I had a star crunch earlier. So, what'd you have for dinner? Uh, what did I have? Uh, a can of pork and beans? Yeah, mini weenies? There you go, exactly, exactly. No, you don't eat beans. That's no, right. I don't eat, don't beans. eat beans. Ugh, nasty. I like beans. No, I had beef jerky and some pickles. <laughs> we pregnant? <laughs> I see that baby. It can't have you. I know. It's, it looks like a pregnant uh, what, what you? <laughs> Pickle. Actually, that sounds awesome right now. I could, I could, I could go for some. I like a pickle. Did, I just saw a movie called The Pickle Movie. Or no, it's called The American Pickle mm -hmm. with Seth Rogen. Highly recommend this movie. It actually came out in 2020. And it's the stupidest premise. You got to get past the premise first. The premise is that it's a hundred years ago. This guy comes from this little town. He's a Jewish guy, immigrant. He's working at a pickle factory. He falls into a vat of pickles and accidentally gets locked in a vat of pickles for a hundred years. Wow. And then they look, then some kids find him in today's world. Look at that badass station wagon. Wow. Look at that. Look at that thing. I love Vegas. Anyway, so the guy, uh, the, 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 they find him and like he's perfectly fine because he's been pickled. Wow, okay. Right? Yeah. So you got to get past that premise first. Okay. The fact that, that you know, he lived 100 years in a brine, in, in, in Seth, pickles. Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen, Rogen lasted Rogen. 100 years yeah, yeah. in the weed and the pickles. Right. And then, uh-oh, uh here comes the, the ambulance, the bambulance. And, um... Let him do! Let him do! And so... You gotta get past that. And then he's making pickles in the modern world and like people are like, oh, look at these artesian pickles, they're so good. 
So anyway, it's a hilarious movie. It's a heartwarming movie. I recommend The American Pickle. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So you gotta go watch it. Go watch this it. is a famous corner. There's a, I should post it. There's a video, a famous YouTube video. There's this black dude with like a baseball bat on oh, this yeah, corner. Right here, have you ever right seen here. that video? Yeah, yeah, I have. And he it. runs out to right here where I'm sitting right. and starts beating the shit out of everybody's car. There's like a lady in a PT Cruiser or some kind of little car. And he just starts smashing up her windows. He's like crazy. Did we see him one time? We were in the red, uh, the red Cadillac, remember? Maybe. I think we saw him that day. We were on our way to. Pond. I don't know, man. There's some somewhere. crazy people uh, that live over here. That's the world's biggest gift shop, right there. Mm -hmm. I've never been in there. Have you been? I've not. Ever been in there. Like I've no desire. We should go in there. I wonder. Check it out. I don't know. Video. You know why I've never been in there? Because I don't want to park in this fucking parking lot. It's your people, though. It's Indian jewelry. <laughs> Is it? <there> you probably <laughs> probably get a discount. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How? I have a reservation. <laughs> I love when you're driving through here in a convertible like this, and you can smell all the restaurants. It was like garlic. Yeah, like, you know, you go past the Italian place, the steakhouse, you can yeah. smell the food. Oh, look, it's uh, uh, Sebastian Maniscalco. Oh, I, we saw him at like hyenas years ago with Vinny when he was still coming up. But yeah, he's he's funny. Always something fun happening here. I need to clean the window. The window's dirty. <laughs> it's been sitting. Yeah, it's been sitting. I haven't drunk this thing in months. Car's running a little bit rough tonight. Oh yes. I wonder what the teacher's gonna look like this year. I brought my pencil. Give me something to write on, man. Woo. All right, we stopped at the Love It, right next to the Strat. Now this is only the Vegas locals know about this place, right off of Oki and Las Vegas Boulevard. It's kind of off in the back, right? So, Love It, frozen custard, been here since back in the day, like it's old school. You gotta come, you gotta wait in line. It's kind of sketch sometimes. You know, sometimes you gotta step over a guy sleeping on the sidewalk to get here, but I'm just saying, it's pretty good. It's always fun. Cops are hanging out here. That's a good thing. What do you think? We're, we're gonna get a. Um, we're getting the uh, Scotch, Scotch Jimmy, Jimmy tree. tree. It's uh, butterscotch, sliced bananas, chocolate. I don't know what a chocolate Jimmy is, but I'm gonna eat it because it's got chocolate in it. So much I could say right now, but I'm just gonna let it go. I I don't know. <laughs> I now yeah, Jimmy used to be called something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know. Yeah. So anyway. Chocolate. Yeah. Julie. Yeah, yeah. So chocolate. Anyone else really? So we're gonna see what how how that rolls. Joey, show me your jimmies. Mmm, look at those jimmies. Wow. Apparently sprinkles. In. Look at that. Uh, mm -hmm. No Australian comments. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to set this down if I want to eat my jimmies. I like them. They look like uh, rat turds. What is, to your chef, yeah. what is frozen custard as compared to ice cream? Good you don't know either? I don't know. I mean, what is, I think it's more egg based, there's a lot more egg in it. Like if you're making ice cream, yeah. taking milk, sugar. I think it has to do with the dairy that um, they use because of you know, frozen yogurt and frozen custard which is more of a Midwest thing. That's like um, when I was in Wisconsin, the frozen custard was a big deal. In Texas, yeah. it's frozen yogurt. I mean, this just seems like ice cream to me. Oh, yeah. I do like butterscotch from bananas. Very awesome. It doesn't suck. It does not suck. It does not suck. Love it, frozen custard here in Las Vegas. Only the locals know, and now you know. Thanks the video bump. See that right there? Las Vegas Boulevard right over there. Right by Dino's. On the strap. And a helicopter. It's called Artifice. Art face? Artifice? Artifice. So you're one of your, one of your hangouts. Let me check this place out see if it's any good. Might be a lot of music in there, so I might not be able to play.
street tacos. Sing the song of your people. Sirens and motorcycles. Ambulances. Ambulances. Say, man, can I buy some change? Ah, oh, that was a fun night out in the convertible. Ah, love it. Drove around with my buddy, had some ice cream, some tacos. It's a beautiful night. I'm gonna try to crash early tonight. Had a long day. Got up early. Did a bunch of fun stuff. Let's see, get this lock open here. Getting a couch delivered tomorrow to go with my new chairs. That's gonna be nice. There we go. People are kind of liking the daily blog, so I thought I'd do more of them. So, got the uh, got the Eames chairs sitting here. Still haven't cleaned this up. Uh, not sure which will be up first, this video or the video about the chairs. There they are. Putting this cool couch in right here. Looking for a nice credenza to put there. We're doing some decorations. It's gonna be wonderful. So anyway, just doing the daily, not daily blog. I gotta go back to Dallas here in a couple days. It's gonna be raining the whole week. I did sell the ambulance, uh, people who were wondering, people who watch my videos. I mentioned that I was gonna sell the ambulance and then I had a couple of my viewers who were fans here in Las Vegas actually reach out to me and they said they wanted it and they made me a really good cash offer for it. Um, and I accepted, they gave me a deposit, I'm bringing the thing back, I'm gonna fly down there and drive it back. So we'll talk about that when it happens and then uh, That'll be fun. All right. Anyway, catch you guys later. Catch you the next time. I'm Vito Bob. Hi, I'm Gene Simmons. You're not. And you're watching, what else? Video Bob. Now get out.